Hi, it's Monday, June 28th here at Leib.com, L-E-E-B.com. Uh, I'm Greg Dorsey. Uh, well, we're sweating it out here in Manhattan, but uh, I guess you could say that about much of the uh, country. Uh, things were pretty cool on the stock market, though, with the uh, Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ 100 barely budging from Friday's closing levels. Uh, volume was also cool in keeping with the trend uh, of late, uh, that on any day uh, other than uh, when the market sells off, uh, that we had very light volume. Uh, we're in a seasonally uh, slow period, uh, but the drop-off in volume really has been greater than one would normally expect during the summer months. Uh, while that light volume is a concern, in and of itself, it probably doesn't mean too much. Uh, we like to keep an eye on uh, small cap stocks for an early cue as to where uh, the blue chips are headed. Uh, and uh, one sign that the major averages aren't poised to uh, break down just yet that you might get from light volume, but uh, which we don't see, is the relative strength of small cap stocks, uh, which have perked up after uh, they had begun to lag. Uh, another positive uh, is the decline in bond yields, which makes stocks more attractive. Uh, for now, uh, we'll continue to score stocks as being mired in a trading range that is now stretched into its ninth month. Uh, ultimately, we may break to the downside, but uh, it doesn't look like that they're ready to do that just yet. One possible catalyst, though, to bring it about a, a sell-off will be Friday's unemployment report, which is likely to show a, a big drop in uh, the payroll numbers and uh, a jump in the overall jobless rate. So we'll be watching that closely. Uh, now, turning back to uh, today's uh, market action, we were struck by the uh, uniformity of uh, the selling in commodities. Uh, the degree of, degree of selling uh, varied uh, in size, with natural gas uh, by far the worst, dropping 3.4%. Uh, but whether it's fuels, precious metals, base metals, agricultural commodities like corn and wheat, uh, they all lost ground today. Uh, given a choice between paper assets and real assets at a time when short-term interest rates are flatlined and central banks around the world are flooding the system with newly printed script, uh, those commodities seem like uh, the better bet. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's all for now, and uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.